Welcome to the Nick at Night Report, your only source for celebrity gossip circa 1951 to 1995. I'm Renee Cranston. I'm Chuck Brandt. And I'm Jonathan Lyles. Tonight, a shocking development in Dick Van Dyke's struggle with addiction. We knew him as a loving father. We celebrated him as a capable businessman. And we watched his shocking downfall with slack-jawed horror. The renowned funny man has plunged into the depths of a drug-addled frenzy, as shown in this exclusive footage. Watch him plunder his bedroom for his hidden stash. A divorce, foreclosure, and bankruptcy later, we caught up with Mr. Van Dyke. Here, we're off a moat! Leave her alone! Leave her alone! We witnessed Van Dyke incoherently threatening to imprison the father of an innocent little girl. Father in a cage? He makes cages in all sizes and shapes, you know. Unwashed and unkempt, Van Dyke walks the streets in search of employment. In the flesh and at your service. And as for his ex-wife, Mary Tyler Moore, following the divorce, she's pursuing her dream of working in television. She's gonna make it after all. For years, Manhattan socialite and wife of band leader Ricky Ricardo, Lucy, has silently endured verbal and physical abuse. Behind her smile is a world of pain. Today, her story is revealed in this telling footage. The thing to do is be firm. Hello, Ricky. I got a letter from Mother today, and she's going to California with us, and that's that. And I don't want any arguments. Well, you hear me? Oh! <laughs> Ricky didn't mean that. You know how he is when he gets excited. Now listen, if I'd taken half the things he said to me seriously, I'd have left him long ago. And while Lucy defended her assailant, he was soon back to his old tricks. I am sorry, my dear, but this is the way it has to be. That's just terrible. Adorkable child star Kevin Arnold has recently been involved in molestation charges brought by Miss Topanga Lawrence. But while these accusations are recent, his sinister predilections have been evident from a very young age. How are you? That's just sketchy. The following footage was released by an anonymous courthouse source and is believed to have been admitted as evidence in the case of Lawrence V. Arnold. I'm your teacher, and I find you attractive. Whoa. I'm your teacher, and I think you're attractive. What? Okay. What if I said to you that I think about you? My students and I have a relationship which allows us to connect better inside. Stuart, you're making me uncomfortable. I want you to leave. That's not what you want. What? In his defense, Mr. Arnold had this to say. The door was open. She offered it to me unprompted. I even asked a roommate to stay. Molestastic. In related news, Paul Pfeiffer was recently crowned first place in the Tri-State Chin-Up Championship. Don't stop believing. Hold on to that Street Chin-Up Tastic. You've all seen the riveting speeches by the local pastor of that town where they don't let people dance. If our Lord wasn't testing us, how would you account for the proliferation these days of this obscene rock and roll music with its gospel of easy sexuality and relaxed morality? But is it possible that his conservatism hides a dark secret? I, Dick Solomon, am an alien. 
from outer space. What? It's true. I'm the high commander of an exploratory mission that came to Earth six years ago to study mankind. Shocking. Here's exclusive footage of the preacher speaking in his native tongue. On a lighter note, Kevin Bacon just ran over some woman with a tractor. we have for you tonight. Tune in tomorrow for more gossip about people who may be dead. For Renee Cranston and Chuck Brandt, I'm Jonathan Lyles. Good night and good luck. Mr. Brady, you think you know me. A man of vision, integrity, honesty. But do you really? Recently uncovered footage shows that our dear Mr. Brady has a shameful past and an equally troubling present. A present of slavery. Oh, Massa, no, not my child, not my baby. Massa, Massa, yeah. this is my child. She disobeyed the rules. She has to suffer the consequences. That's all there is to it. Massa, please, please, Massa. Yes, I beg you, please, Dozella. Please, Massa. She's already been so. And how does Mr. Brady like his constituents? Black, please, and with a smile. Mr. Brady, wrong for the Brady family, wrong for America. This message brought to you by Alice for President.